Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day five of my juice fast. Today, I want to talk to you guys about better vision and beating temptations. So today, I felt a lot better than I did yesterday emotionally. But physically, I am definitely sliding down a bit more and again, completely normal and to be expected. This has nothing to do with me not eating solid food because I'm still getting in plenty of calories throughout the day with all of the juice that I'm drinking. I'm getting plenty of nutrients. My body is getting a ton of amino acids and amino acids are really what our bodies need to produce proteins. So I'm not concerned about not getting something from my diet. If anything, I'm getting a lot more nutrients than I was previous to starting my juice feast. My adrenals are simply low right now. They are underactive and it takes time to help clean and repair these cells and tissues. It takes time for our organs and our glands to start functioning on their own again after we've been giving them stimulating foods for so long. So let's talk about better vision and beating temptations. Today I took my dad grocery shopping and there was a lot of running around, a lot of driving to do, but on my way to his apartment, I noticed something really exciting. My vision is getting more clear. It is incredible how much my body is already starting to hydrate and move the lymph out of my head. The last couple days I've been experiencing a lot of popping in my ears. So here we can see that the lymph pressure that has been pressing on my auditory nerves, um, literally muffling my hearing, especially in my left ear. My, my left ear uh, hearing has been pretty poor lately. And so it, I'm so excited that my body is hydrating and moving the lymph out of my head area and I can literally hear it and I can feel this lymph moving. So this pressure change in my ears is really exciting, especially after my ears pop for a while. My hearing is incredible. It's like I just popped on a new set of ears. Uh, but today I was so, so incredibly excited to see my vision starting to clear up. The road signs were clear. I could even see a now hiring sign on a building. I wasn't interested, but hey, <laughs> I could see the sign. And this is a wonderful, wonderful sign that my body is doing just what it needs to do because I'm getting out of its way. I'm giving it hydration, I'm giving it alkalization, and this is how we reverse our health conditions. Now, beating temptations, this is a fun one and a total mind game. So I got to my dad's apartment today, right? And, uh, you know, he's forgotten that I'm juicing all month. And so he's asking me if Taco Bell has any vegan options. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do, dad, but... Uh, feel free, I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> and as we're getting ready, um, he had some homemade banana bread muffins. Don't even get me started. These were my mom's homemade banana bread muffins. Guys, they're like the size of two muffins in one. Don't even get me started. So as we're getting ready to leave his apartment, he's handing me this muffin like, hey, can you hold this? Hey, can you hold this? I held this muffin in my hands like four times today, guys. And I'm looking at this thing like, mmm, mmm, <laughs> that looks really tasty. The last two days as I'm prepping my juices, I almost popped a couple berries in my mouth, just not even thinking. We get so involved and caught up with our daily routine that often if we're not paying attention, if we're not being aware, it's very easy to fall back into just old habits. I was hungry, I was making a juice, and I thought, mm, that strawberry looks really good. I gotta go for a strawberry. <laughs> On our way to the store, <clears throat> we had to stop in at a Sheets. Now, fortunately, we didn't go into the building itself, but we were inside two of the doors for the ATM machine. Simply standing inside that 
um, intermediary area. Oh my gosh, guys, the, the smell of food was tantalizing. It was, it was awful. Just like all of that really gross, greasy, fast food, fried stuff. <laughs> it was a temptation. But uh, I had a juice waiting for me in the car, and as soon as I stepped out, I breathed in a nice big breath of fresh air just to try and get those smells out of my nose. So one important thing when it comes to beating temptations is to have something on hand that you really, really love. I had a juice on hand that I kind of threw together before I headed out of the uh, the house today. And to be honest, friends, it really wasn't my my favorite juice. It was uh, four oranges, one lemon, a thumb of ginger, a really small smidge of parsley, and I believe three stalks of celery. And it wasn't bad, don't get me wrong, but it didn't have that uh, that zing like the strawberry sunset does. It doesn't have the hearty... Um, comforting, slightly earthy taste of the sweet potato dream. But that's okay. Not every juice is going to be a winner and you're not going to love every juice that you make. But I will say that uh, trying to prepare yourselves a bit, regardless of what protocol you're on, but just, you know, talking about juicing, if you're on a juice feast and you are going out somewhere, if you're trying to be a bit more social, I would not necessarily recommend getting more creative with your juices. I would stick to something that you know you love, that anytime you pick up that jar, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get my juice on. <laughs> I want you to get really excited about that juice because when you're out, and you're with other people, and you're around food, <clears throat> the social pressure can get you, the smells can get you, any number of things can trigger your body to say, yeah, I want that. Have something that you really, really enjoy, and uh, if anything, bring more juice than what you expect you will drink, uh, because in my opinion, it is much better to have more than what you need than not enough. Uh, because the last thing you want is for those temptations to set in and you not have any good options on hand and to just fall into, okay, I'm really hungry or I'm going to give into this peer pressure. Stay strong, but really give yourself something to look forward to. Really fun observations today, better vision, slightly better hearing over the last few days. Um, later on in the evening, I was experiencing a little bit of pressure near the back of my head, like the cerebellum area. And this makes complete sense. I already know that lymph is starting to hydrate and move in my head area. Because my vision is starting to clear up, the acids are literally leaving those tissues and my ears have been popping, the pressure is trying to normalize, so I already know that there's going to be some changing pressure, lymph pressure in my head. To try and help with that discomfort, I did take an ice pack and I held it for several minutes on the back of my head. I took it off for several and then I would put it back on uh, until I felt better. I felt a little bit nauseated, a little bit sick to my stomach for a few minutes. I laid down on the couch and it passed. And a little bit this evening, I was feeling a tiny bit tight in my chest, a bit wheezy. I did take some spasm calm and that cleared it right up. I'm so, so grateful for that herbal antispasmodic and its ability to help things like, you know, tight breathing and, and wheezing and whatnot. It has really proven so beneficial in my journey already. And I expect to be leaning on it even more heavily as I continue cleaning. There will be periods where you feel fantastic. You're feeling really on point. You have high energy. You're clear, you're focused, and you're determined. And then suddenly, seemingly out of the blue, you will have days where you're just not feeling well. Maybe you feel like you're getting sick. Uh, some old pains might come up. Any number of things can, can arise as your body is hydrating and moving these acids throughout your body. Because that's really all it is. It's just acidic waste 
that has become hardened and dehydrated over years. So as we hydrate and move this waste, it's going to burn and create some discomfort until we get it out. Always be checking for kidney filtration. Make sure that your kidneys are filtering. If they're not, get on some kidney herbal formula. Um, whether that's a kidney tea, a kidney tincture, I would even recommend both. Um, really hit the kidneys hard. Many of us struggle with chronic kidney uh, congestion. <clears throat> and kidneys are king when we're talking about detoxification. We want to make sure that we are seeing sediment come out in our urine because we will know that our lymphatic waste is actually being removed from the body. Fun observations beating those temptations. I'm feeling really good about today and I am so excited about more juice tomorrow. I hope you guys are enjoying your health journeys. Keep rocking it. Whatever protocol you're doing, whether you're just transitioning to a plant-based diet or whether you've been rocking this detox journey for years, I want you to keep going. Always be improving. Friends, this is not about perfection. It's about progress. So on that note, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow. If you're looking for any kind of help on your health journey, please send me a message on my website at holtox.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.